Mason PUD3 has been working hard to find a fair and equitable way to bring broadband to residents throughout the county. A proposed fiber hood construction adder is an exciting option to make this happen. In a nutshell, here's how it works. Only the users in successfully established fiber hoods will pay the construction adder, not all PUD3 customers. Fiberhood customers will pay $25 a month, which is included in the bill issued by the customer's internet service provider. Money collected by the customer's internet service provider is passed along to PUD3. These funds go into a special account established by the PUD to pay for future Fiberhood construction. The process begins by identifying potential Fiberhoods. The PUD prioritizes building to fiber hoods based on a guaranteed level of customer commitment to obtain service from the fiber network. PUD3 would then build and connect customers to the network. Cost recovery is estimated to be 12 years. Since PUD3's intent is to recover costs, not create a profit. But what is a fiber hood and what elements make it a good candidate for a successful extension of broadband to the area? First, it should be easy to reach having overhead power or existing conduits. Second, we'll look at its proximity to existing PUD facilities, such as a hut or fiber backbone. Is an area unserved or underserved by other broadband providers? Unserved is pretty easy, there's nothing there. An underserved area has speeds that do not meet federal standards for broadband. The final component is customer commitment. Are enough customers willing to commit to connect to the fiber optic network to ensure cost recovery? Sure, there's a selection process, but what is it? The KUS software is used by several nearby utilities to gauge customer commitment levels. Predetermined fiber hoods will compete with each other to see who reaches the desired level of commitment first. An important distinction from some other fiber optic network programs is the difference between fiber to the home and fiber to the curb. Historically, the biggest stumbling block was bringing the cable directly to a customer's home. The Fiberhood program is intended to leap that hurdle through the construction adder and by the use of advanced PUD equipment such as the vibratory plow. That helps place underground cable without extensive trenching and restoration work. This innovation helps increase the level of customer commitment in a Fiberhood. There are two components to the Fiberhood construction adder program. The first is the price for service, which is charged to the internet service provider who in turn bills the end user for their service. The second is a construction adder, which helps recover the cost of bringing service to the Fiberhood. The costs are recovered through the adder over a period estimated at about 12 years. How does it work now? Well, there are two levels of service. 100 megabits per second for $25 per month charged to the retailer who then bills the end user or 1 gig for $45 per month. The difference in the model we're proposing here is that the gig rate is lowered from $45 to $35 plus there's a construction adder of $25 per month and we would eliminate the 100 megabits per second speed level. The cost to serve a customer with a 1 gig service is no different than the lower speed. The gig circuit supports many different services, such as high definition video and broadcast on demand, security systems, phone service, special high capacity circuits for those who need to telecommute, and extremely fast internet service. A retailer will be charged $60 per customer in the Fiberhood program. To sum up, only users in established fiber hoods will pay the construction adder, not all PUD3 customers. Fiber hood customers will pay $25 a month, which is included in the bill issued by the customer's internet service provider. Money collected by the customer's internet service provider is passed along to PUD3. Those funds go into a special account established by the PUD to pay for future fiber hood construction. And, over time, the PUD recovers all costs for extending service to fiber hoods throughout Mason County.